Business owners in Pepper Place are feeling the impact of the streetscape project on 29th Street South. Some are frustrated the nearly year-long project is hitting them in the pocket. WVTM 13's Magdala Lusant live and local at Pepper Place tonight to show us what's going on. Magdala. Last six months, the owner of Lumbar here behind me says the of these cones here and orange barricades and barrels have been keeping people away from her business. She says she's bringing in less money now. They were open during the pandemic and for folks who actually can come down here, she says they think her business is because of those signs. We can't just wave people down on the side of the road while they're driving down Third Avenue and say, hey, we're open, you should turn this way. So that's that's been challenging. Another challenge for Riley Hightower was a water main break this weekend. It forced the lumbar to close its doors because she couldn't serve customers. On the other side of the block is the collective hair salon. The owner tells me they canceled appointments and had to buy gallons of water to wash color chemicals out of customers hair. Red Cat Cafe was forced to only sell already prepared to go items. They couldn't offer espresso based drinks. So of course they're accidents, but when they do affect patrons around, it's it's very frustrating. We learned from Birmingham Waterworks, the city's contractor damaged BWW's water infrastructure, impacting Pepper Place along 29th Street South. The agency on several occasions has been working to repair the damage and will have to potentially replace the entire service line. Hightower is worried about what the coming weeks will look like because the project isn't done. They'll eventually have to pave the street in front of the Lombard door. She says they're the only business on the street with one way in. The other option she showed us going through a service hallway that takes you through their kitchen and then eventually inside the bar. That is the only feasible thing that I can think of that logistically could work. Realistically, it won't, but logistically it could. Otherwise, I don't know physically how people are going to make their way into our doors. So Hightower tells me as long as people know that they are open, she'll be happy. Some of the efforts she's been trying is making posts like this on social media, letting folks know what's been going on here over the last six months. Well, this post they made over the weekend has been working. She says people have been coming to the bar in the last couple of days. Now, the city of Birmingham telling us water was restored to this area on Sunday. Now, this project that started last July, they say, will or should be done by the end of this month. We're live at Pepper Place in Birmingham. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.